Ohio gozaimasu. It is Monday, July 3rd, and today I have my big Japan National Stadium tour at noon, and then I take the bullet train to Kyoto around 3.30. If I miss that train, that's okay. I can still get another one with my JR Pass. It's just not going to be a reserved seat, and I wouldn't mind having a reserved seat. This morning, checkout I believe is at 10, so I'm gonna head over to Shinjuku Station for a couple hours right now. It's about a uh, quarter to eight, so maybe go over there for a little bit, see if I can find something to eat. I know I'm gonna have an ekiben, which is a bento box, a lunch, on the train because that's what you do, it's tradition. So I need to find something to eat before the tour. I'm gonna have weird meal times today. Also, tonight, I am going to be going down to the Fushimi Inari Shrine, which has the giant line of Tori gates. And I wanted to do that at night, number one, because it looks cool. Number two, it might be less crowded. So cross your fingers on that, that it works. I'm going to head over to Shinjuku Station and see if there's anything interesting there. Oh yeah, I think I found breakfast. Here at Egg Slut, what a name, <laughs> I got the Fairfax, which is like their signature egg sandwich burger thing. So it's got a sauce, it's got egg, I think there's a hamburger in there somewhere. And I got a set, so set means combo, so it came with hash browns as well. It's right at Shinjuku Station in the new south entrance. And I have a great view of my favorite building, Yoyogi Building, that has watched over me while I've been in Shinjuku. So let's take a look at this sandwich. How do I eat this? Oh my gosh. Whoa. This is why they give you 8 billion napkins. This is gonna be messy. But it's good. I like a good egg sandwich. jaunt through Shinjuku Station, got to sit and read my manga for a little bit, ate breakfast. Now it's time to go check out of the hotel, which I will miss, and head down by the stadium for a little bit. I finally made it the Japan National Stadium. My tour is in about 15 minutes. I got across and then go to the C gate. This is the A gate, the main entrance. Can you imagine what this would have been like during the Olympics if everything had gone according to plan? Oh man. Remember, no fireworks. See the plants growing up there? Oh, all of the medalists from athletics in 2021. There we go. One and two. Nice. This actually goes around the stadium with all the events. Winners. Aha, on the other side of the stadium, they've got the Paralympic winners. Oh shoot, I brought my spikes and everything.
Let's see if I can decipher any of these. Raven Rogers. Gabby Thomas. Hathemo. Grant Holloway. <laughs> Along with his times, of course. So after the athletes finish their race, here is the mix zone where they would get interviewed. Oh my gosh, the stadium is, or the field is right there. Okay, pause. There's a lot of cool stuff here. There's a torch. They actually let me go up to it. Podium, podium. I'm in heaven. Okay, I'm ready. Let's do this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm on the field and I can go on the track. You bet I'm going on the track. Let's do it. You guys, I'm on the track. I'm getting a little weepy right now. <laughs> you can't see because I'm wearing my sunglasses, so I'm going to keep them on. But this is incredible. I really can't believe it. Yeah. This is amazing. wooden beams or faux wood I can't remember if they're real or not I think they are they're beautiful they really warm up the stadium for sure seriously I would stay in here forever <laughs> and the photo ops that they have amazing wasn't expecting to do those and because I was here in the first half hour no big line for anything so I got these amazing photos. Ah, oh, it's <laughs> it's just so cool. Oh, I just want to stay here forever. Do you think they'll let me use the locker room as like my home? That'd be nice. I don't think I ever got my seat assignments, but let's just say this was supposed to be my seat. <sighs> They're pretty comfy. No armrests though. And very tiny cup holders would not have fit my water bottle.
They've got gotcha pomazines with Olympic stuff. I'm only gonna get one. They've got a standee version. Yeah, the keychain. I think they're all the same thing. So let's try my luck. Okay, so I did get a souvenir. I thought about the pin, but I'm like, okay, it's not the actual Olympics, it's just the stadium, so we'll just go with the lanyard that I wear for work. So, yeah, this is great. This mural was done for the 1964 games. So it was on the former stadium site, but they took it out, made sure to include it here, as well as, da 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 da, the cauldron for 1964. It was in the stadium, originally built for the 58 Asian Games, and then it was installed here when the new stadium was built. And to go with the Japanese artwork on the one side of the mural, here is their Greek goddess, and I found it the cauldron. It's big. I mean, I saw the Ariake one just a couple days ago. It is about, I want to say it's two-thirds the size, maybe a third of the size. It was very big. I can almost hear the ethereal Claire de Lune playing as I stare at it. It was a weird song choice. <laughs> How cool. As of right now, that is a fantastic tour. If you are in Japan and you are an Olympics person, do it because I wasn't expecting to do as much as I did. I thought that, oh, because it's summer and soccer season and athletics is going on that some things would be closed, but nope. They let me do everything, which is incredible. It's so cool. So if you're gonna be in Tokyo, make sure to do this. They did a really amazing job making this look good, you know? Incorporated plant life in a lot of spots. It's open, but it's not blocky. They put wood elements into a lot of this. This is a great stadium. I hope it stays up for a long time. And it is open. I mean, like the stadium isn't open unless you have a ticket, but you could come running around here if you really wanted to in the outer concourse, it is completely open. Welcome to Tokyo Station, the busiest train station in the world. bento box for the train. I got my Eki Ben. Yes, I splurged on a big one. So sue me, it's my first one ever. And we gotta go to platform 15, but I've still got about 30 minutes to go before the Hikari 649 gets there. Platform 19, top row, Hikari 649. The current time is 2.56, so I've still got about 30 minutes for my train. There it goes. That's a Nozomi, the fastest bullet train. I can't take that one because I'm a tourist. Here comes my train. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. And in its parked form. Wow. Aerodynamics, am I right?
I'll rest in my room. I've shut everything, locked up my valuables, and now I'm going out to see the shrine. Welcome to Fushimi Inari at 9.30 on a Monday night. I have to admit, I did expect a few more people. The cat's making himself at home in the shrine. Kind of looks like Ani. Hello. How are you? You know, if I called you Ani, it would actually be very fitting. Each Tory gate on this path was purchased by someone or some company. So if you go down, you can actually see the names of the company or peoples that purchased them. So if you really wanted to, you could go all the way up and all the way down. But because it's so empty, I'm not going to have to do that, which is great. Compared to the main drag of Kyoto, which did not impress me, to be honest, this is really neat. gonna charge you. I don't know if that's a happy cry or an angry one. Goodbye. See ya. Now what is self, if you're here at night and you want to get good shots, go by the bathrooms. They have really good lighting. And just so you can see coming down the mountain the names on the Tory gates. Well, that was a very worthwhile decision to do this 24 hour open place at night when there was almost zero people, smattering of people here and there just to show that I was not alone, which was nice, but worthwhile. I really enjoyed it. And I didn't have to go up all that far to get some amazing pictures. I'm gonna wrap it up here just because at the hotel it was gonna be super quiet. And tomorrow, I'm gonna try and cover as many Kyoto places as possible. We'll see how many I get to. 
and then I take the train to Osaka and go to stay at the Parkfront Hotel, which is one of the main hotels for Universal Studios. It should be a little different from the capsule hotel I'm at right now. But with that, thank you for an amazing photogenic day. I didn't think that anything could surpass yesterday's photogenic day, but today sure did. It was amazing. I'm glad you were able to watch it with me. And I will say, Arigatou gozaimasu and sayonara.